Hi, Langan here with my animals. Today we are taking a look at my 75 gallon fancy goldfish tank. And you may notice if you've been uh, one of my followers for a while that there's a new addition here and that is Buggy my new Blackmore goldfish and I have to admit he is not a rescue you guys know I normally try to do rescue especially with goldfish but I work with kids and one of my kids and I were out running some errands and he just really wanted to take home a Blackmore because we used to have daddy fish our Blackmore who lived about five years and was just a favorite at the daycare and uh, I let him talk me into getting a Blackmore at Petco <laughs> so this is just my new little Petco Blackmore and I thought that this would give me a good opportunity to talk about what exactly is a Blackmore goldfish and uh, the color change that will happen in them and some care tips on how to make sure that they do really, really well. Blackmores are a type of telescope eye goldfish and really the only difference between them and another more bodied black goldfish, uh, you know, with the telescope eyes, is their color. Um, and interestingly enough, unless you are spending a lot of money on getting like a true black moor, there's a good chance that your black moor will very quickly over the next couple of years turn into either a sort of um, wild uh, chocolatey color, a little bit like the darkest parts on Emerald slash Bubba Bubba here. Her real name's Emerald, but I just always want to call her Bubba Bubba Bubba, because look how big she is compared to the others. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Sorry, I got a little distracted, but if they don't become that chocolate color, a lot of times they will just start turning gold. If you all remember Mr. Goldyfish, he started turning gold towards the end of his life. Uh, and it was funny because it was just like it started out as a ring around his little booty hole. Something I have noticed about Blackmore goldfish is that they seem to be more aggressive than a lot of other fancy goldfish. When I had daddy fish, he actually had to live in with my long-bodied goldfish because he would chase and harass and try to breed with the other goldfish so bad that it would stress them out. Um, and this little guy, you know, he's too young to really tell, but he's showing some signs of that too. And that is something I have heard from other goldfish keepers, like, way in here, are your black moors kind of bullies sometimes? Oh, buggy eyes, you're so funny. Look at his little grumpy face. He's like, he's like a little pug. Go pug fish. Black moors, because of their telescope eyes, all kinds of telescope eyes, goldfish, they do need to be in with other animals that are not aggressive and that are not going to keep them from getting all of the food when it comes in because they cannot see as well as some other goldfish. And so if you have like really, really fast fish in with them and they eat off all the food, you're a little telescope eye might not be getting as much as they need 
Uh, other than that, it's really about the same as any other goldfish diet. You want to feed them more when they're young and more before your tank is really established. And after that, you can just feed them a small amount of a wide variety of food and they will be so happy. I do find that moors and all goldfish really, but um, fancy goldfish really do best in groups of three or more. Oh my gosh, did you just try to eat his poop? Bean bean. Gross. His gross bean bean. Um, being a fancy goldfish, they do like the temperature a little bit more around 55. Um, now, I have found these goldfish to be very hardy. They're, they can survive temperature dips when, you know, power outages and things like that. But for a healthy, consistent digestive system on black moors and other fancy goldfish, I have just found keeping uh, the temperature around 75 to be really good for them. They get to be uh, anywhere from five to nine inches long. So even though uh, you will often see people saying, oh, it's fine, I just have a little black moor. He can live in a 20 gallon tank. Like, yeah, probably, definitely for a while, but you're still, you know, he's gonna get to a point where it's like half of his, um, you know, uh, he won't be able to, like, necessarily turn around all the way. And these guys get big. Even fancy goldfish get big. Like, this is a 75-gallon tank. And this is my only full-grown, my ranchu here. And look how ranchu goldfish are considered some of the smallest. And look how big. Look how big she is. With black moors and other fancy goldfish, I really find that, um, you know, algae and stuff won't hurt them, but you do need to do big water changes once a week. Um, they are more sensitive to uh, nitrates than their common and uh, comet-bodied ancestors or cousins, or whatever you want to call it. Um, but they are just really, really, really fun fish. It's fun watching them change colors as they grow. It's fun knowing that they have this little, like, you know... It's, it's just, I don't know, they just have these little pug faces. Uh, they're not, I have not had any particular issues with uh, more telescope by Morse. Um, I have heard some of the Demikin variety of black moors can uh, suffer from um, swim bladder issues quite easily. Um, I, I did have a telescope eyed calico but I believe she was still a more body but so I don't I don't think I have any experiences with a demi kin to speak for but yeah this is buggy eyes buggy for short named by my four-year-old duder you know you're out there this little guy saying hi to you.
Remember to love your pets and they will love you back. Even the finny finny ones. Thank you and please like and subscribe. It does really help my channel and my purpose is to get the word out on animal care and the word out on making your animals in closures, in lives, the, the best they can possibly be.